Hi, welcome back. In this lesson, we will dive deeper into AI in procurement. We will discuss how AI is currently being used in procurement, what benefits it offers, and what challenges it poses. We will also explore the various types of AI technologies used in procurement and its future trends. So let's start by talking about a few ways AI can be used in procurement. One of the most common applications of AI in procurement is in spend analysis. AI algorithms can analyze large volumes of spending data to identify patterns, anomalies, and potential cost-saving opportunities. This can help procurement teams make more informed decisions about their spending and negotiate better deals with suppliers. Another area where AI is being used in procurement is supplier management. AI-powered supplier management systems can help procurement teams identify and onboard new suppliers, monitor supplier performance, and detect potential supply chain risks. This can help organizations maintain better supplier relationships and reduce their exposure to risk. AI is also being used in procurement to automate routine and repetitive tasks, such as data entry, invoice processing, and purchase order generation. This can help procurement teams save time and reduce errors, allowing them to focus on more strategic activities. Another interesting use case for ChatGPT is negotiations. You can use it to create strategies, exercise by role-playing, and brainstorm potential arguments your counterpart might use. Now, let's talk about the benefits of AI in procurement. First of all, AI can help organizations achieve greater efficiency, reduce costs, and improve decision-making. By automating routine tasks and providing real-time insights, AI can help procurement teams work more efficiently and make better informed decisions. Secondly, AI can also help organizations improve supplier relationships by providing insights into supplier performance and helping them to identify potential risks. This can help organizations build stronger, more collaborative relationships with their suppliers and ensure the stability of their supply chains. Despite the benefits it offers, there are also some challenges associated with AI in procurement. And one of the main challenges is data quality. AI algorithms rely on high quality data to generate accurate insights and recommendations. If the data is incomplete or inaccurate, the results generated by the algorithms may be flawed. Another challenge is the need for skilled resources. AI requires specialized skills and expertise to be implemented and managed. And many organizations may not have the necessary in-house resources and may need to rely on external vendors or consultants to implement and manage AI systems. The final one, and this is the biggest, has to do with privacy and sensitive information. But we'll get to this later. Throughout this course, you'll hear some terminology that is closely related to AI and ChatGPT. Here are the three most important ones and what you should know about them. One, machine learning. Machine learning is a way for computers to learn and improve their performance on a task by using data and algorithms. In traditional programming, humans write code that tells the computer exactly what to do. In contrast, in machine learning, the computer is given a large data set and an algorithm, and it learns to identify patterns in the data and make predictions or decisions based on those patterns. For example, let's say you wanted to build a machine learning model to recognize images of cats and dogs. Right? <laughs> you would start by feeding the computer thousands of labeled images of cats and dogs. The machine learning algorithm would then analyze these images, identifying features such as the shape of the ears of the color of the fur that are associated with each type of animal. Once the model has learned these patterns, it can be used to make predictions on new unseen images. For instance, if you show the model of a picture of a cat it has never seen before, it can use the patterns it learned to recognize the animal as a cat. Similarly, it can identify new dog images as dogs based on what it learned from the training data. Overall, machine learning allows computers to make predictions or decisions based on patterns found in data. And it is used in a wide range of applications such as image recognition, language translation, and predicting future outcomes. Number two, robotic process automation. RPA is a type of software that automates repetitive tasks performed by humans, typically in business settings. Imagine you work at a bank and your job is to process loan applications. You receive hundreds of applications every day, and your task is to review each application, check the information provided, and approve or reject the application. This can be a time-consuming and error-prone process. 
RPA software can be used to automate this task by mimicking the actions of a human reviewer. The software can access the loan application system and retrieve the application, review the information provided and make a decision on whether to approve or reject the application. This can significantly speed up the process and reduce the risk of errors. RPA works by using software robots, which are essentially computer programs that can mimic human actions. These robots can interact with different applications, systems and databases to perform tasks. RPA robots can be programmed to follow specific rules and workflows and can be trained to learn from experience and make decisions based on the data they receive. Overall, RPA can be a powerful tool for automating repetitive and time-consuming tasks in a range of industries, from banking and finance to healthcare and manufacturing. It can free up human workers to focus on more complex and creative tasks, while also reducing errors and increasing efficiency. Number three, natural language processing or NLP. It is a type of artificial intelligence that enables computers to understand, interpret and generate human language. When you communicate with someone, you use language to convey your thoughts and ideas. NLP enables computers to do the same by processing and analyzing human language in a way that computers can understand. For example, let's say you want to build a chatbot that can answer customer service questions. You can use NLP to teach the chatbot to understand different types of questions, identify keywords and provide appropriate responses. To do this, you would start by training the NLP model on a large data set of example conversations. The model would analyze these conversations to identify common patterns, such as the types of questions customers ask and the types of responses that are appropriate. Once the model has learned these patterns, it can be used to generate responses to new customer questions. For instance, if a customer asks, what are your store hours? The NLP model can recognize that the question is asking about store hours and respond with the correct information. Overall, NLP is used in a wide range of applications, from chatbots and virtual assistants to language translation and sentiment analysis. It enables computers to understand and generate human language, which can be used to improve customer service, automate tasks, and make sense of large amounts of text data. Finally, let's talk about future trends in AI in procurement. As AI continues to evolve, we can expect to see more advanced applications in procurement, such as predictive analytics and prescriptive analytics. Predictive analytics will allow organizations to forecast future demand and identify potential supply chain disruptions, while prescriptive analytics will provide recommendations on how to address these issues. We can also expect to see more integration between AI and other technologies, such as blockchain, a decentralized digital ledger that allows for the secure and transparent recording of transactions, and the Internet of Things, or IoT, which is a smart home system that allows you to control various devices, such as lightning, thermostats, and security cameras, through a central hub or smartphone app. This integration will enable greater transparency and traceability in supply chains as well as more efficient and effective procurement processes. AI is changing the way we work by automating repetitive tasks, analyzing data, and providing insights and recommendations. Its applications in procurement, such as spend analysis, supplier management, and task automation, offers numerous benefits, including greater efficiency, cost reduction, and better decision-making. However, challenges associated with data quality and the need for skilled resources must also be addressed. The different types of AI technologies used in procurement, including machine learning, NLP, and RPA, offer diverse solutions for procurement challenges. As AI continues to evolve, we can expect to see more advanced applications in procurement, such as predictive and prescriptive analytics, as well as integration with other technologies like blockchain and IoT, leading to more efficient and effective procurement processes. Before we end this lesson, I want to talk about something very important. ChatGPT is known to store user data and use it to train their models. So when you're asking ChatGPT for help with a simple email, this is no problem. But once you're entering sensitive information as input, you have to be very careful. I recommend you anonymize every piece of sensitive information you put into ChatGPT. How you do this is different for each scenario, but I'll give you an example. The first one is a 500 million contract with Nike should be entered as a 500 million contract with a shoe brand. Or second, 
An email you received from Marijn Overvest, the founder and CEO of Procurement Tactics, becomes the CEO of an education institute for procurement professionals. You get the point. Remove any sensitive details you don't like to become public. Here are the key takeaways in this lesson. First of all, AI in procurement offers benefits such as greater efficiency, cost reduction, and better decision making through applications like spend analysis, supplier management, and task automation. Challenges associated with AI in procurement include data quality issues and the need for skilled resources to implement and manage AI systems. Future trends in AI in procurement include advanced applications like predictive and prescriptive analytics, as well as integration with technologies like blockchain and IoT for more efficient and effective procurement processes. So that's it for lesson two on introduction to AI in procurement. I hope you found this information engaging. If you have any questions or would like to discuss any of the topics any further, please feel free to ask or send us an email. See you in the next lesson, where we will discuss NLP and its role in ChatGPT.